section we're gonna learn how to deal with, Brett, watch your fingers, there you go, is a double feed type malfunction, okay? Essentially, you have two rounds trying to feed into the chamber. What, what causes that? First and foremost, it's you most of the time, okay? That's what causes it most of the time. Now, essentially, we have a failure to extract, okay? Most of the time, that will cause that, okay? That's kind of the, the main thing. That will cause it also bad ammunition, okay? Dirty extractor, worn out ejector possibly, worn out magazines, okay? Uh, but most of the time when I see it is people riding their charging handle, um, trying to fix a malfunction the wrong way, things like that, that's what causes it. It's usually a malfunction on top of a malfunction. Sometimes in close quarter environments, it's something that's obstructing your breach. Well, if you're shooting close proximity. So the way we're gonna set this up is I'm gonna cover that breach with my palm, and I'm gonna charge, and bam. You guys see that? That's a double feed. Okay, two rounds trying to feed in the chamber. Okay, now unlike on a handgun, when you have a round sitting behind a round, here you could actually have two rounds jammed in. Now in some cases, they're really stuck. They're not gonna come out easily. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys this from the left side and the right side so you see what each hand is doing. Now, if you've done this on an AR and you're kind of used to locking the bolt and maybe that bolt flying into your fingers, you don't have to deal with any of that anymore on the Tavor. So let's see how we fix it. Everyone, eyes and ears. I'm gonna do it full speed and then I'll do it slow for you guys. All right, so once again, let me set it up. Cover the breach. Use your chest here. It'll be a good stopper. You're just preventing the round from ejecting and letting them push in. Okay? So I recognize the malfunction. The way I recognize usually is a squishy trigger. Okay? Squishy trigger and I see brass. At night, you can do this by feel. I put my rifle on safe. I'm going to yank out the magazine. Sometimes it'll come out easily. Sometimes you'll have to really yank it. From here, I'm holding onto the mag. I'm going to hold the bolt back against my shoulder. Don't use your stomach, don't use your armpit, use your shoulder. From here, I'm gonna sweep out the brass or anything that's stuck in there with my fingers. I'm gonna release the bolt forward. This is important. If it's a failure to extract, I wanna make sure that when I go to charge again, whatever was in there extracts, and then I go to fire. Okay, let me set this up. I'll show this from the other side. Once again, there's my double feed. Watch what this hand does now. So I come up to fire, squish, finger off the trigger, check. I see a double feed, yank out the magazine. Sometimes you'll have brass coming out. Grab the charging handle, hold it to the rear. If the brass fell out, great. If not, this is gonna help me sweep it out. Okay, essentially I'm taking the pressure off those rounds. Release that bolt forward, put the mag inside, charge. This is where people cause themselves secondary malfunctions. Why? They ride the handle. They ride the handle forward. Charge, let it go. Come up and fire. 